Wallfish Bay resident Paulus Ndume started from humble beginnings. In 2004, he worked as a civil servant by day and drove a taxi in Quisubmund by night. Hard work and determination has turned Dume into an influential businessman 13 years later. He delivers fuel to the government and petrol stations, constructs roads and now this $5.2 million modern shopping complex in Quisubmund. I meet all people in the street asking me questions. Why are you build such a beautiful Nikwisab moon? I always tell them, do you think Nikwisab moon people doesn't deserve good things? It is clear that the economic sector of our country will remain stable only if the local entrepreneurs full participate in the building of our country. In the Quisipman Township, diversification of businesses is rare. The common types are car washes, bars or shabins on every corner. Political and business association okay. leaders she urge township uh, businesses to try so new ventures and avert foreigners from taking up available opportunities. We want to see this type of modern structures being erased by our people and not by Chinese for that matter. But if you don't do it, Chinese will do it for us. And our children will work for Chinese. That is why China is here today. Yes, they will be here. Because they have seen opportunities in our country. Don't blame them. We must blame ourselves. So it's time for us to stand up. Since last year, Quisip Moon's building landscape has changed with shopping complexes mushrooming in new extensions. The Ndume Square is just one of those buildings inspiring previously disadvantaged business owners in Kwisabmund to join the million-dollar business arena.